Hey guys, I'm going to be going over eight different watch strap recommendations for this watch right here. This is my Glycine Airman Double 12. If you're not familiar with this watch, I've already done a review of it before a couple months ago, and I'll leave a link to that down below. And before I get into the different strap recommendations, I will kind of give a little disclaimer like I always give in these videos. Um, this is obviously a very basic watch. It's got a black dial and a silver bezel to it and it can go with a lot of different options. So what the purpose of this video really is, is just to give you some ideas of different strap combinations, um, give you an idea what they look like. So if you end up liking the look of it, you can go ahead and go pick one up yourself. So it's not by any means telling you that these are the only straps that'll work with this watch. As long as the strap fits between the lugs, you are good to go. So this is just for fun. Anyways, let's start off with the first one. This is the strap that came with it. It's a nice thick brown leather strap. It's got a signed buckle there, it says Glycine. Now, I wore it on this strap for probably about three weeks or so when I first got the watch, and it's not bad. I will say it's not bad. It's a little, uh, I mean, it's, it's a little long in that I have to go almost on the last tooth. There's one more hole uh, underneath this buckle, so I'm pretty much to the end, so there's kind of a lot of strap hanging out there, but not a big deal. I don't have a, a huge wrist. I do have a seven inch wrist, so Keep that in mind when I'm showing you these wrist, wrist shots. This is a 40 millimeter wide watch. It's got 22 millimeter wide lugs, although the specs on their website do say 20 millimeters. Uh, it is 22, trust me. So, yep. Okay, so this is strap recommendation number one. This is just the stock strap. Let's go to number two. Okay, strap number two is a Clockwork Synergy silicone strap in dark brown. These are awesome straps. If you've never heard of them, they're only like 12 or $13. They come in a bunch of different kind of fun colors too. I like this brown color just because brown is so typically um, kind of associated with leather. I just thought it was a fun kind of play on having a super waterproof strap that's super affordable, kind of look from far away like leather. So uh, what's neat about these straps is obviously the, the just its ability to handle harsh you know, climates, if it's summer, or if it's just hot out, it's just, it's nice, it's lightweight, it's not going to get ruined like leather. But what's really cool is on the back here, these little springs, they, uh, they really help with changing out the spring bar. So you just pull down here, pull out the strap, and you are good to change. So great, great straps, Clockworks Synergy, 13 bucks. All right, well, let's go to number three. Option number three is a NATO strap. We're going to be doing a fair amount of NATO straps since this watch does has, have such a military history too. Now, I wore it on this strap for a long time just because I loved it so much. It's a camo NATO strap that I picked up from CheapNATOstraps.com. It's just cool. I mean, this watch was used in the Vietnam War. It's got some, you know, a lot of military roots to it. So why not throw it on the camo NATO? And I think it was like 12 bucks. So camo NATO, number three. Okay, number four is another NATO strap. And it is the kind of the new James Bond style with the black and gray alternating stripes. What's cool about this particular combination is that the dial, and this may be really hard to tell in this video, even though we're in a light booth, it, the dial is a really, really dark gray. It's not, it's not particularly pure black. And so it, it kind of plays with the black and the gray of the strap because it kind of falls between those two shades. So yeah, this one's a really cool option. Although I, I haven't really worn it on this strap that much. I really like the camo and uh, an, an option we're going to show you in a second, but this one's pretty cool. So definitely, definitely looks good on this one. The fifth strap is one of my all time favorites and they're really hard to find. It's a canvas NATO strap from Watch Straps On. It's a company out of the UK and it's got stitched holes on it. It's just so cool and you don't really see this that often. So I love kind of I don't know, when I think about military, you think about canvas bags or jackets and stuff. And so I think this, mater this material, along with the NATO strap, just works really well with kind of a military-inspired watch. So definitely check out their straps if you've never heard of them before. they got a ton of different colors, and they're just they're top-notch. I mean, look, look at the quality on those stitched holes. I love this one. So that one's number five. Number six. This is a khaki Perlon strap. I just love khaki straps for some reason. I don't know if it's because it kind of plays off the loom color being a creamy, although it's kind of yellowy greeny um, color, but something about it's just really cool. I love khaki straps on my Explorer 1, or excuse me, Explorer 2 watch that I have in the Polar Dial. And uh, I don't know, just this, this one looks just pretty cool on it, I think. So 
Uh, I picked up this particular pearl on from Crown and Buckle, I think. So, yeah, this is a good one. Now, seeing as how this is a military watch, I think I'd be remiss if I didn't include a Zulu strap. My other, my other video when I did eight straps for the Seiko SKX, someone, someone said that I should have included one of these. So, here it is. This is a Zulu NATO strap with black PVD buckles. It doesn't get more burly or, you know, military-esque than this. The... The canvas on this or the the nylon on this is just super thick. I used to wear this strap quite a bit and then when I got the lighter weight more flexible NATOs like these from cheap NATO straps.com I realized how much more comfortable these are than this NATO strap or the Zulu strap excuse me that I'm wearing and I just never I haven't really worn this one honestly it's just it's so thick and bulky and I don't know it's all right but it's definitely not my first choice. I think I picked this one up on Amazon about a year ago um, and I think it was maybe like 15 bucks. So, yep. Zulu strap number seven. And last but not least is my Cola Reb. I think it's pronounced Vera Pele. It's a kind of a distressed suede leather. It is awesome. I think these are normally like 35 or 40 bucks on websites like Cola Reb or pff, yeah, well, you probably could get it from Cola Reb or Holbins watch straps, something like that. I picked this particular one up off eBay and it was cheaper because it's short. If you see, there's not much strap hanging out here. So with my seven inch wrist, there's still plenty of uh, holes on this um, on this strap for me to be able to make it fit properly. So this one's just awesome. I love the, the beige stitching there. And this is the one I wear it on, or I just leave it on this strap. So I'll show you the other underside of it. So you can kind of see in the light, it's definitely it's going to age because it's full grain leather. You can see some of the age here on the side. The back. Really, really nice. Just super comfortable, especially this time of year. It's cooling off. It's November and uh, no, no real chance of sweating, even though I'm down here in Florida. It's, uh, it's just a great, great, I think, combo with this watch. So, yeah, definitely check these guys out if you, if you haven't already. So... Thank you guys for watching the uh, eight different straps I recommend. If you have any other ones that you think work particularly well on this watch, feel free to put them below. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.